So here we go, we got it all primered up. Got it sanded down once again with some 320. Everything looks really good. Gonna clean it up the rest of the way. When we go to paint it, I'm just starting to mask a little bit. Kind of started sprinkling, so I don't know what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna paint those two pieces on the front. We're gonna paint the trunk lid. And the mirrors and this panel that goes behind the back window, you know, right here. We're gonna paint that uh, flake again and do the patterns. Like I said before, we're gonna do the roof with the top, I guess. So this time around, we're gonna use Sparkle Effects Flake. If you look at this bag, and you look at the old flake, hard to tell maybe but the old flake had like black areas in there we're getting i wanted to look like this bag right here you know with no uh <laughs> no black showing at all so it's like really sparkly so we bought more flake shout out to sparkle effects and we'll get this thing sprayed tomorrow hopefully Get that front end, let it sit for a while, and then we'll get it sanded down. So when we're letting it sit, that's when you get to add your comments to see what you want to do or ask me anything about it before we get to painting it. You know, so I can either document it or mention it or whatever. So it's all masked up. I ended up getting this black plastic. It's like a recycled plastic. Typically I get that clear stuff, but the tape actually sticks to this. It's inside, so it should be fine. But yeah, look at it. It's all masked up, all prepped. We just got to wipe it down. Wipe these parts. I just have these hanging. I'm waiting for the sun to uh, pass here in probably 20 minutes. So after you have your car primered, blocked, primered, blocked, primered, blocked, and masked up, ready to go. Some of the things that we need to do this is, I have this 2.5 paint gun. The tip has a 2.5 tip on there for flake and thicker materials. I have a finish gun, it's a 1.8, I believe. It's just a cheapie, but it works pretty good drill, mixer, some gloves, some tape, a knife, new bag of terry towels. I use this to clean the car off right before we paint it. You can use this, you can use an acetone. Um, this little jar has, was clean lacquer thinner in there with some different size tips on there always good so you, you need to clean it off or something we're using the color blender this is the uh, clear base coat that we're gonna use to suspend some flakes also we have it's called sparkle silver metallic and this is the silver base coat I'm using a medium reducer and the only reason why I'm using medium is because I have more of it than the other stuff. Uh, typically with it being hot out like it is, I'd probably use a hot reducer right now if I had it. Uh, got them pound of flakes. So there you go. These are water trap filters for the gun screw on the bottom. I like to replace them every time. Got some filters, some stirs. This is one of those like ET Tyvek suits or whatever. So the flake won't get all over me. Um, MS-52 is a really, really nice clear coat from Matrix. I have more slow reducer, so we're gonna roll with that. Uh, thinner to clean, this is lacquer thinner, wash thinner, whatever to clean the uh, gun and stuff. 
I, <laughs> I have a gas mask is what do they call it, but it's just like a, a good dust mask or whatever. It has carbon filters, you can change them out. This one uh, won't let me get flake all over my face, which is why I got it. And it has these little plastic things you can like peel off and put another one on so that it always stays fresh, kind of like a dirt bike or whatever. I take it inside, I'll rinse it off with some soap and water, let it drip out, take these filters off. I usually replace them every, every time I paint. Uh, let's see, all this I'll try to link as much as I can. Gloves, my drill I think I said, some tape. This I dump uh, old paint in there. And then I have a bunch of little brushes and stuff to clean the tips and then the tools to take it apart just in case, you know, something gets clogged up. Oh, and paper towels. And I'm sure there's other things I'm missing. So this is just the start. Since my area is unique, I have this plastic that I kind of just drape over, screwed some screws in, and then I can just stab it in. My Bluetooth hangs right there. I'm playing the radio. So that works out. Just a little hint. What I like to do first is start by re-cleaning the guns from the last time they were used. Because sometimes something will get missed and it'll just drip into the tip. So we like to clean them up one more time. Put the gloves on. We got our lacquer thinner. Some of these brushes. My garbage can is right there. I'm gonna go and squirt it into my waist and it, it squirted really nice. So this one is actually really clean. All right, so that one was pretty good. Just a visual of this one. I used it to do primer and look, definitely primer on the tip. So I'm gonna just pour the lacquer thinner from this gun into here. actually even still some primer on the handle here. I did a terrible job cleaning it. <laughs> Sorry if my allergies are kicking over here with the palm. All right, so after you have them cleaned out, both tips are working nice. We'll just put our brushes to the side because we probably need them again. But uh, now it's time to wipe the car down. So I'm using this surface wipeout stuff. Just gonna pour it on. Never like, you know, hook the bottle to the, the rag or whatever. Make sure it's new. This will get all the fingerprints and wax and grease and stuff off. So it makes your paint stick. Fold the towel again so it's on a clean side. And do it again.
Sorry if the camera shakes, the floor is like not the greatest in the last here. Okay, so when it comes to painting, I have one hose that I use specifically for the spray gun. I usually, this dryer is always attached. I usually add this one right, uh, right for painting only. Every time I use it, I like to hook this hose or this pipe up, drain it out. <laughs> So I have just lacquer thinner in there cleaning it, but the clear one doesn't really change much. I just mix it just to make sure. Now the silver one, our first base color. That was wild. Let me put the tripod up. So the drill on low speed. All right, so this mixture is a one-to-one -one with the reducer. So I got my cup here, one-to-one. -one. But we're only doing one coat and I wanna do it more than one-to-one. -one. I'm gonna do it like one to 1.5 or one to two. Um, so I'm gonna probably just do that on the first, you know, coat of this car. So we don't need to mix a lot. So I'm gonna probably go to two to two to probably like this five. So I'll go to two with the paint and then five with the reducer. So I'm gonna tape this lid. So it doesn't make too much of a mess. Four right here so we're going to two and then five. Oh shit so we're a little over two All right, so the car has been sanded with 320, been prepped and cleaned. Now we're gonna spray the silver.
So after the second coat, it don't look that bad. There's a little bit of stripes I can see on the hood. There was a little run right there. I sanded it out. Hit that again. Little bit of striping on the trunk lid. We gotta get rid of that too. Should get it with this next coat. And right now we're mixing it one to one. So this is their third coat of base coat. It's really silver. Very light, very, very light, a little bit of lines. I think if we were putting a candy over it, it'd be an issue, but since we're putting more flake on it, it won't be an issue. Trunk lid looks good. All right, so now we're mixing our color blender. This is a one-to-one -one mix also. So we're gonna go right to five. Bring it up to number five. So you could actually put like a candy base coat or something right in this right now. We could make a candy or we put flake in it or pearl or something, you know, like you could put something in there to change the color essentially. I mean, that, it's hard to see, but I'll show you after how much of the bag of it was used. Probably use like a third of it. I'm gonna try it, spray it, see what it looks like, and then go from there if I add more. I'll probably do another, obviously I'll do one more, three coats of this, and then three coats of clear at least, maybe four. Not using this gun we're gonna use the one with the 2.5 tip doesn't have any filter in it 
And as you see, we're gonna have to keep on stirring this. So this is after one coat of clear, three coats of silver, three coats of flake, one coat of clear. Mirrors are hard to tell. There's flake on everything, by the way. The clear mix is four to one. Even though I'm not having a problem with water, I like to drain it every once in a while while we're painting here.
So it's like two days old paint. Really no sun on there. So what I'm gonna do is measure across the hood at the bottom and see that it's 63 and a half. And then measure across the hood at the top. Which the hood is uh, 58 inches, but if you add on the front piece, which you can't see, if you add on this front piece, you know you're looking at like 65 if you go all the way to the lip. So just say here, say 62. So we'll write all those numbers down, and then we'll go into the computer and draw it up. First we'll draw it up on a piece of paper and then we'll transfer that to the computer. <laughs> 